my July 2013 wrap-up video. Um, sorry about the noise of the fan, it's just too hot to have it not going, so that explains why the sudden breeze of hair and the kind of rattling noise. So just try and ignore that. So, in the month of July, I read nine books, and I think that was pretty good. Not as good as last month, where I read like 12, but I think I did still very well considering. And I will get on and tell you about the books that I read. The first book that I read in July was The Eternity to Cure by Julia Kagawa. I read The Immortal Rules last month and I absolutely adored it and I just couldn't wait to pick up the second one to see where all the characters go and this was just as good if not better than the first one. It was absolutely fantastic, it really was. I loved it, I love the characters and especially the main character Alison, she's like badass and she's more badass in this book, it's like fantastic. And I don't know why I'm saying badass so much, but badass is a cool word because she's badass. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this book was really, really fantastic. I enjoyed it. I gave it five out of five stars, just like the first one. And it's such a shame we have to wait. I have to wait until spring next year for the third book, which is so not fair. But I really enjoyed this book, and I loved it. And this has become one of my favourite series. It really has. After reading The Eternity Secure, I decided to pick up High Society by Ali Carter. And I loved Ali Carter's um, Delegate Girl series. It was really fantastic. I, read, I only read the first book, but I'm dying to read the rest. And this looked, series just looked just as good. Unfortunately, it felt a little bit short for me. I'm not sure what it was about it. It wasn't as fantastic as the first um, book in the other, her other series. And I don't know what it was about this book. It was a little slow, I think, at the beginning, and then suddenly it all picked up. But I couldn't decide between giving this a 4 out of 5 stars and a 5. Cause it, wasn't, it was, just wasn't good enough for a 5. And a 4 seemed a bit too little. So, for the first time in ages, I don't think I've ever really done this before, I gave it a 4.5 stars. And I did really enjoy it, it was just a little slow at the beginning, and I don't know what else it was about it, but something just kind of, you know, just didn't, didn't do it for me so much. But it was a really good book, and the characters are good, they're not hugely well developed as I had hoped, but I really did enjoy it. Then I decided to pick up The Sliver Sisters by uh, Charles Gilman, Gilman, and this is the second book in the Lur Tales of Lovecraft Middle School series. I have a review on this on my blog as well, so I'm not going to say too much. I will leave the link for that in the down bar, but another one of these awesome covers. I just think these are totally epic. Um, I, I really enjoyed this book as well. Um, it was just as good as the first one. Um, the characters are great. You get a little more character development in this one, and you get to see um, slightly different sides of the characters, I feel. And I think the main character, what's he, what's he called? I forget what he's called. Robert um, is a little bit more um, confident than in the first one. I think maybe it's because he has friends. But I really enjoyed this one and I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. The next one I picked up is one that I got for Christmas and it's been sitting in my cupboard for ages past this. And it's Uggies by Scott Westfeld. And I'm so glad I picked this up and decided to read it. It was really, really, really good. I remember something in about, I want to say I was in year, uh, year 9, which I was like 14, I want to say. I read this book back then, and that was when the series was relatively new, and I know I loved it back then, but I could barely remember anything when I started reading it. A little flashback to the things I remembered from the book um, when I started reading this, I did remember but I really, really enjoyed this book. It was really fantastic and I loved everything about it. I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I can't wait to put the sequel. The next book I picked up in July was The Scorch Trials by James Dashner. And this is the second book in the, um, I want to say it's the Maze Runner trilogy. And now it has a kind of like a prequel book as well. But I love The Maze Runner and I'm pretty sure if I was going to reread -read The Maze Runner I'd give it 5 out of 5 stars rather than 4 out of 5 stars. But I gave it when I read it. But, oh well. Um, I read this, and I enjoyed this one, I really did. I didn't like it as much as the first book. I'm not sure why. I think it was, there was a lot of dry patches. <laughs> God, that's a bad pun. Dry, scorch, get it? No? Okay. Um, it was really good. Um, the characters were good. It was a little bit confusing at times. And I was like, no, you can't do that when certain things happened. Um, but I really did enjoy this and I gave it 4 out of 5 stars because it was really good and I can't wait to pick up the third and final book in this series. Then I just decided to pick up Parallel by Laura Miller and this is a uncorrected proof copy um, that's got sent to me for review from Scholastic Books. 
and it came out in June this year and I was a bit, bit late reading this but oh well there is a review of it there is a review of it up on my blog if you would like to check that out I will leave the link also in the down bar um I really enjoyed this book uh it was a little bit confusing at first especially because the book switches between the here and now um uh, parts every few chapters and this is about parallel universes if you haven't guessed and the characters were good the main character was alright, I liked her, but I also hated her at the same time. She was kind of irritating. And she'd do stupid things, and I'd be like, are you really doing that? And then she'd be like, oh, well, that was my parallel self. And I'm like, yeah, it's still kind of yourself. And it, 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 I can't really go on much about it. I think I really, it's, it's four out of five stars. I really did enjoy it. But if you want to hear more of my thoughts about it, then it will be my review. Then I picked up a book that I've been wanting to read ages everyone's talked about it and everyone's been saying you need to read this, you need to read this and everyone loves it and it is Vampire Academy by Rochelle Mead and I can't believe I'm only just now getting around to reading this but oh my gosh I love this, this is fantastic I don't know, I, I, I had to, I have, I have to read more, it was absolutely incredible I love the main character Rose, usually I don't write characters that are so um, self-confident and ballsy I suppose as she is but she pulled it off really, really well, and she's so confident with herself and everything that it was just really amazing. The beginning was a little slow, and I thought, oh dear, am I really going to get into this? And it was a little confusing because they started talking about the um, the Strigori, Strigori, I can't even pronounce that, and the the different types of thing, um, vampires and that. And I was like, oh gosh, what 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 exactly are all these meaning? And then eventually it did tell you, but. It was a little confusing at first, but I really, really loved this, and I gave this 5 out of 5 stars, and I can't wait to pick up the second book and read it as soon as I can, because it's fantastic, and it's another book that's become one of my favourites so far. The next book I picked up is one that I got sent for review from Mirror Inc., and it is Poison Study by Maria V. Snyder, <laughs> and I really, really enjoyed this book. It was fantastic. I've been meaning to read this series for ages, just because it's been so highly recommended. Um, I really, really love the main character, Yelena. Um, she was fantastic. She was really interesting and quirky and fun and kind of like, I don't, I'm not sure how else to um, describe that. And I also love Valak and he's just definitely my type of person. He's amazing and I wish I could have one for myself. I really do. Anyway, I love this book. The only problem I had with this is the fact that the ending I felt was very rushed. Uh, when it got to about, I want to say, about there, from about here on, it was kind of rushed completely, and I really disliked that. Um, the first, like, three quarters of this book is really detailed and intricate in a way, and then suddenly it gets to nearer the end, and then suddenly it just seems like um, the author was rushing it, and I really didn't like that, and which is a bit of a shame. I do have a review of this up on my blog, I gave it four out of five stars, so if you want to go check that out, you can. Look in the down bar. It was nearing the end of uh, July when I finished uh, Poison Study. However, I managed to squeeze in one more book, and that is This Is Not A Test by Courtney Summers. And I only just managed to finish reading this in time for thing. I think I finished it at like midnight on the dot on the 31st, which was pretty good, I think. And I really enjoyed this book. I love, I love zombies. I'm a big fan of zombie novels. And the writing style in this book was really different from what I usually read. Um, I'm not really sure how to describe it, but it was very um, strange, but really good in its way, in its own way. Um, the characters weren't overly developed, and I wasn't really that keen on the main character, um, or pretty much any of the other characters, to be honest. But it was a really good book, and I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars. So, those are the books that I read in July 2013. Thanks for watching and don't forget to leave me a comment. Happy reading. Bye.